They will also start arguments and meetings so as to disrupt them. They also try to turn niggers away from the Islam by accusing Mohammed and other Muslim officials of stealing money out of the Muslim treasury because the FBI knows that, the most, that most niggers will believe those kind of false charges without any proof. Even though I would enjoy seeing Mohammed hang from a Harlem lamppost, I have to admit that he does not steal from his own followers. We are both familiar enough with the red FBI methods to know that the FBI plans to frame the Muslim by having niggers. FBI pimps use viol violence and then blame it on the Muslim instead of using illegal FBI police state methods. I suggest that we put the Muslim instead, Muslim out of business with, with the Christian with the white Christian methods that have worked so well in the South besides. Any spies you put among the Muslims will probably be killed. Those Muslims are the meanest niggas in the world. <laughs> you need to realize that Muhammad has organized several hundred thousand Negroes throughout America. His Muslim, Muslim temple are springing up everywhere. He had several temples in my home city of Atlanta. If you were a student of, student of race, you would know that Christianity is the white man's religion and has only been successful in white countries, whereas the Muslim religion of Islam is a nigger religion which appeals to the nigger, black racial instinct. That is why the Muslim grow stronger every day, even though every nigger that becomes a Muslim will go to hell when he dies. If we, if we fail to stop the Muslim now, the 16 million Negroes of America will all soon be Muslim and then you will never be able to stop them. Reports from Christian missionaries say that Islam is sweeping over all the Africa, all of Africa, so don't underestimate the Muslim. Up to, up to and including it, its edition copyrighted in 1956, the Encyclopedia Britannica admitted that under the heading of Negro, that the nigger is closer to the anthropoid ape than the white man is ever res in every respect except one. It also reveals that the nigger to be natural, born cannibal. For more information about the facts of race, I suggest you read Take Your Choice, Separation or Mongolization, Mongolization it is, by the late U.S. Senator uh, Bilbo of Mississippi and the white American by Ernest Severe Cox. Both are in the Library of Congress. Another valuable race book is The Cult of Equality by Stuart O. Landry. 305 Charters, 305 Charters, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Therefore, you can easily see that your problem is with black savage. We will, we will help you put the blacks in their place before they turn all of your great cities into a bar barbaric jungle. The NAACP is a bad gang, but I assure you that the Muslims are ten times more dangerous, more dangerous. The NAACP is a cream puff compared to the black Islam. The, the NAACP likes white people so much that its members try to associate with us whites every day. But the Muslims think they are better than us whites, even though everybody knows that we, are, that we whites are superior to the nigger coons. I guess you know that the NAACP is headed by a man who is not a nigger, but there is a bad nigger at the head of the Muslim. <laughs> I have had... <laughs> I've had white Christian friends write to many magazines inciting, inciting them to denounce Mohammed and his Muslim so as to scar or scare yeah. many cowed Negroes away from him. So far, I have managed to uh, sick both Times Magazine and U.S. News and World Report on them. Police Commissioner Kennedy, my dear friend, I now offer you the service of this Christian, Christian Knights of the Ku Klux Klan for the purpose of maintaining white supremacy in New York City and for keeping New York niggers in their place. I think 5,000 Klanmen could clean up Harlem and Harlem for you. If you would give them police badges and New York police, uh, police uniforms to wear instead of that Klan uniform. They will leave their Klan robes at home so the New York niggas won't know that your police reinforcements are white Christian Klansmen. You can use our Christian knights as guards to protect every white 
business in Harlem and also other New York areas where niggas, customers are giving trouble to white businessmen. After all, how do the black jigs, boo, jigaboos, expect to live without white businessmen to sell them what they need? You can also use our plantsmen to escort white salesmen into Harlem and other parts of New York City that are suffering from the black plague. I will expect you to supply my clansmen with police pistols so they won't have to carry their own pistols. They will also require machine guns, riot guns, tear gas, and big clubs. They will especially want some big sticks with iron inside the wood so that so they can crack hard niggas' skulls. Niggas, <laughs> niggas have bigger skulls and smaller skulls than we whites. And your police uniform, my clansmen, will teach New York niggas to respect white Christian policemen. I will send my Christian knights to your uh, rescue as soon as you call for them. Do you want to keep the plan secret or make them public? If we give publicity to these plans, the yellow-livered, cowardly darkies would probably start shaking in their shoes and, sh and showing <laughs> proper respect for white people before the arrival of the Ku Klux Klan. Please advise. In case you decide to keep our plan secret, remember that the secret might leak out. In case of a leak, strongly deny that you have called for the support of the Christian Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. I want you to jump up and down and scream when you tell this newspaper man that you are not working together in case our plan leaks out. That will keep them from saying anything. Tell your superiors to take their choice. You can either accept our support and have white supremacy in your giant city, or you can retreat and abandon New York City to Elijah Muhammad. His mausoleum and his black supremacy. I know we will enjoy working together to roll back the black locusts. Together, my dear friends, we will save New York City for the white race, the white, the race that built civilization. In the Christian bond of white racial brotherhood, I remain yours truly, yours of Christ, for Christ, race and country. The Imperial Wizard of the Thank you. My brothers and sisters, just a minute. Uh, we thank uh, the brother for uh, reading this letter to you. Our time is just about up here, but here's a letter that he wrote me directly. He sent me a copy of uh, this commissioner's letter. I don't know why he wanted to send me the copy of, of uh, the commissioner's letter, but he sent me also a copy of my letter, but we don't have time to... Uh, or rather, sent to me a letter directly to me. And uh, we don't have time to, re to read this letter, but uh, uh, I will say to you, uh, the brother may read just three lines, or the first paragraph here. <clears throat> Infidel, I have your black mother on the run, and I will soon put you out of business. That being the case, you don't, you, that being the case, why don't you dissolve your Muslim niggas organization or Islam and tell your darkest to go home and be good niggas and to stay in their place? <laughs> Mohammed? You don't have a chance against me because I am using other niggas against you. Some niggas work for me for pay and others work for me because they are cowards. And some of them work for me because they know I am right. <laughs> you will have to admit that I kept you from speaking in Indianapolis recently. For several months I have been operating out of my special Louisville base to build the clan stronger in the border states especially in Indiana. Therefore, when I heard you were planning to speak in Indianapolis, I drove over to Indianapolis and had a conference with local clan leaders. They told me I had nothing to worry about because they would, would scare the coward Negroes in Indianapolis in Indianapolis. They then got prominent people to call on Reverend Harding and other leaders of the nigger community in Indianapolis and, and headed Hid you off and headed you off. We were also able to frighten you and your black friends with the police. Of course, I told them to threaten you with other laws instead of that unconstitutional law that says you can't hate anybody, whatever that means. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, you have uh, <clears throat> heard these letters read and a part of another letter here, which I would like that you heard a whole entire two pages of it. 
And you will find how that this Klan's leader boasts that he have the preachers of the church on his side and that several of them is working directly with him. And uh, I don't think that they actually know that they are working with him, but uh, this is uh, enough for them to learn. And this is enough for you to know what they are doing against you. Think over these things. They like to beat your head. They like to kill you. They like to deprive you of justice. They don't want you uh, enjoying the same freedom that they enjoy. They don't want you in a good home. They don't want you in their neighborhood. They don't want you in their country. So why should not you and I unite and get out of their country? Right. Let's get out from among them. Well, will everyone please hold your seat just for one more minute until our beloved leader and teacher, uh, beloved leader and teacher finishes. Please hold your seat for just a few more moments. Thank you. So this uh, <coughs> visit here this afternoon was mostly to acquaint you with just what was going on and who is the real root hate teacher and the real root troublemaker. I wanted you to know that. We are not making trouble nowhere in this country. We're not trying to make trouble. We don't intend to make trouble. We only intend to try to unite our people, get them together, tell them the truth, and uh, teach them to go for themselves and stop laying around licking white people's boots, begging them for a little piece of bread and a little dime, our job to make a dime. Let us unite and get together, take our black woman to ourselves, and protect her from the white lynchers and from the white rapers and... <coughs> If we can't do that, then let us go commit suicide ourselves. Because we're not fit to be a, a race of people if we cannot protect ourselves and our woman. We just cannot be uh, fit to be called a race of people. The white people are coming in your own houses today, walking in the street, grabbing up your guns off in the street, raping them, doing whatever they please. Your paper is full of that stuff every week. I say, let you and I unite together beat our children back in the house and stop them from trying to be white children, stop them from mixing with them even as well. Stop our woman from painting her face like white people, stop our woman from dyeing her hair like white women, stop our woman from putting rouge in her lips like white women, make our woman be our woman. <laughs> Give our home to us out. And then the world will respect you. You can't be respect over here crying to be white trying to uh, have white people to allow you to marry them. You can never be respected. Who wants a people like that? And what man is fit to be called a man who will allow his wife to sit right in his face, dye his hair, her hair, like white people's hair, then paint her face like white people? Right there and then I tell my wife, since you want to be one of them, get out of here and go to them and don't never come back this way anymore. If a white man saw his wife trying to black her face, blacken her hair, blacken her eyes, and her eyebrows to look like black niggers, he would kill her. I say, my friend, wake up and be a man yourself. And stop standing around arguing with each other. As soon as a leader rises up among you to help you, you are ready to stone him. And you can try and stone me if you want to. I'm going to try and love and make unity for you. You do whatever you want. I'm never going to throw a stone at you. But I have someone behind me that will throw stones at you. So don't, don't bother with throwing stones today. Bother about trying to make unity among the black men and try to be the black man's brother everywhere you find them on the planet. That's your best uh, bet today, is to try to be in unity with all dark people. Stop trying to be in unity with the people that don't want you. They hate you and call you a, a deep black so-and-so and so. Get out of that people's face. Stop begging them to live in their community. Stop moving in their community. Stop sticking your black child up around their white children in their uh, school, forcing them to admit your children. Go ask them to build you a school. Go ask them to give you the textbook that they have. Go ask them to finance your school until you're able to finance it for yourself, and your children will be better children for the future, instead of trying to make them stick up over there in a white school where they are stoned, kicked out, 
curses, call all kinds of ugly names. You are a fool for doing so. Trying to break the way in to a man's house that is kicking you out. Get out of his house and go for your son. This earth is large enough for you and I to live on it. <laughs> well, ourselves, not in the white man's house. The white man want America, let him have America. Let you and I go elsewhere where we came from. Stop making trouble for yourself and him too. If he's uh, through with you and I, he has freed you and I, let's act like free men. Go for our free self. I thank you. This is our conclusion. Sorry we had to stay up to the last very minute. This is the very minute. Thank you, but all who would like to line up here and give their names to us, that you are joining the unity of the black men, I say, come on up. Come right on up. All of you that would like to join up with us, come on here and take the name as quick as possible. Come on over here. Come on and join up with us. Let's have unity among us. Come on forward, brothers and sisters. Who can't clan and not? Everybody that's not registered, please remain in your seat. Come on up and see and shake the hands of Muhammad Elijah Muhammad and prove to him that you are a man and that you're behind a black man. If you think it's time for black men to have their freedom, their justice, their equality, then get behind a man that's standing for black people. Get behind a man that is defending the black man. Get behind a man that is not afraid to put his life out for the black man and the black woman of America. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Those who are not registered, please keep your seat. But if you are a black man and think it's time for black people to get behind black men, stop falling the Ku Klux Klan, then come on and get behind the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Your own kind, your own brother, your own leader. Honorable Elijah Muhammad knows what it means to suffer. He knows what the little man in his feet is going through with. Honorable Elijah Muhammad says it's time for us to have some urge that we can call our own. It's time for us to have something, security, happiness, protection for our women and children. Don't be afraid. Come on and get behind Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I bet today is the site of being in unity with all our people. Stop trying to be in unity with the people that don't want you. They hate you and call you a, a D-black so-and-so-and-so. Get out of that people's face. Stop begging them to live in their community. Stop moving in their community. Stop sticking your black child up around their white children in their uh, school, forcing them to admit your children. Go ask them to build you a school. Go ask them to give you the textbooks that they have. Go ask them to finance your school until you're able to finance it for yourself. And your children will be better children for the future. Instead of trying to make them stick up over there in a white school where they are stoned, kicked out, cursed, and called all kinds of ugly names. You are a fool for doing so, trying to break the way in to a man's house that is kicking you out. Get out of his house and go for your son. This earth is large enough for you and I to live on it. <laughs> well, ourselves, not in the white man's house. The white man want America, let him have America. Let you and I go elsewhere where we came from. Stop making trouble for yourself and him too. If he's uh, through with you and I, he has freed you and I, let's act like free men. Go for our free self. I thank you. This is our conclusion. Sorry we had to stay up to the last very minute. This is the very minute. Thank you, but all who would like to line up here and give their names to us, that you are joining the unity of the black men, I say, come on up. Come right on up. All of you that would like to join up with us, come on here and take the name as quick as possible. Come on over here. Come on and join up this thing. Let's have unity among our people. Come on forward, brothers and sisters. Who can't clan and not? Everybody that's not registered, please remain in your seat. Come on up and see and shake the hands of Muhammad Elijah Muhammad and prove to him that you're a man and that you're behind a black man. If you think it's time for black men to have their freedom, their justice, their equality, then get behind a man that's standing for black people. Get behind a man that's defending the black man. Get behind a man that is not afraid to put his life out for the black man and the black woman of America, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Those who are not registered, please keep your seat. 
But if you are a black man and think it's time for black people to get behind black men, stop falling the Ku Klux Klan, then come on and get behind the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Your own kind, your own brother, your own leader. Honorable Elijah Muhammad knows what it means to suffer. He knows what the little man in his feet is going through with. Honorable Elijah Muhammad says it's time for us to have some urge that we can call our own. It's time for Ray's book is The Cult of Equality by Stuart O'Landry, 305 Charters, 305 Charters, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Therefore, you can easily see that your problem is with black savage. We will, we will help you put the blacks in their place before they turn all of your great cities into a bar barbaric jungle. The NAACP is a bad gang, but I assure you that the Muslims are 10 times more dangerous, more dangerous. The NAACP is a cream puff compared to the black Islam. <laughs> the, the NAACP likes white people so much that its members try to associate with us whites every day. But the Muslims think they are better than us whites, even though everybody knows that we, are, that we whites are superior to the nigger coons. I guess you know that the NAACP is headed by a man who is not a nigger. But there is a bad nigger at the head of the Muslim. <laughs> I have had... <laughs> I've had white Christian friends write to many magazines inciting, inciting them to denounce Mohammed and his Muslim so as to scar or scare yeah. many cowed Negroes away from him. So far, I have managed to... Uh, Six, both Times Magazine and U.S. News and World Report on them. Police Commissioner Kennedy, my dear friend, I now offer you the service of this Christian, Christian Knights of the Ku Klux Klan for the purpose of maintaining white supremacy in New York City and for keeping New York niggers in their place. I think 5,000 Klanmen could clean up Harlem and Harlem for you. If you would give them police badges and New York police, uh, police uniforms to wear instead of that Klan uniform. They will leave their Klan robes at home so the New York niggas won't know that your police reinforcements are white Christian Klansmen. You can use our Christian night as God to protect every white business in Harlem and also other New York areas where niggas customers are giving trouble to white businessmen. After all, how do the black jigs, boo, jigaboos expect to live without white businessmen to sell them what they need? You can also use our plasma to escort white salesmen into Harlem and other parts of New York City that are suffering from the black plague. I will expect you to supply my clansmen with police pistols so they won't have to carry their own pistols. They will also require machine guns, riot guns, tear gas, and big clubs. They will especially want some big sticks with iron inside the wood so that so they can crack hard Niggas skull. Niggas, <laughs> niggas all the Africa, all of Africa, so don't underestimate the Muslim. Up to, up to and including it, its edition, copyrighted in 1956, the Encyclopedia Britannica admitted that under the heading of Negro, that the nigger is closer to the anthropoid ape than the white man is ever res in every respect except one. It also reveals that the nigger to be natural, born cannibal. For more information about the facts of race, I suggest you read Take Your Choice, Separation, or Mongolization, Mongolization it is, by the late U.S. Senator uh, Bilbo of Mississippi and the White American, <laughs> by Ernest Severe Cox. Both are in the Library of Congress. Another valuable race book is The Cult of Equality by Stuart O'Landry. Three, 305 charters, 305 charters, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Therefore, you can easily see that your problem is with black savage. We will, we will help you put the blacks in their place before they turn all of your great cities into a bar barbaric jungle. The NAACP is a bad gang, but I assure you that the Muslims are 10 times more dangerous, <laughs> more dangerous. The NAACP is a cream puff compared to the black Islam. <laughs> The, the NAACP likes white people so much that its members try to associate with us whites every day. 
But the Muslims think they are better than us whites, even though everybody knows that we are, that we whites are superior to the nigger coons. I guess you know that the NAACP is headed by a man who is not a nigger, but there is a bad nigger at the head of the Muslim. <laughs> I have had... I've had white Christian friends write to many magazines inciting, inciting them to denounce Mohammed and his Muslims so as to scar or scare yeah. many cowed Negroes away from him. So far, I have managed to uh, sick both Times Magazine and U.S. News and World Report on them. Police Commissioner Kennedy, my dear friend, I now offer you the service of this Christian Christian Knights of the Ku Klux Klan for the purpose of maintaining white supremacy in New York City and for keeping New York niggers in their place. I think 5,000 Klanmen could clean up Harlem and Harlem for you. If you would give them police badges and New York police, uh, police uniforms to wear instead of that Klan uniform, they will leave their Klan robes at home so the New York niggers won't know that your police reinforcements are white Christian Klansmen. You can use our Christian night as God to protect every white business all of Africa, so don't underestimate the Muslim. Up to, up to and including it, its edition, copyrighted in 1956, the Encyclopedia Britannica admitted that under the heading of Negro, that the nigger is closer to the anthropoid ape than the white man is ever res in every respect except one. It also reveals that the nigger to be natural, born, Cannibal. For more information about the facts of race, I suggest you read Take Your Choice, Separation, or Mongolization, Mongolization it is, by the late U.S. Senator uh, Bilbo of Mississippi and the White American, <laughs> by Ernest Severe Cox. Both are in the Library of Congress. Another valuable race book is The Cult of Equality, by Stuart O. Landry, Three, 305 charters, 305 Charters, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Therefore, you can easily see that your problem is with black savage. We will, we will help you put the blacks in their place before they turn all of your great cities into a bar barbaric jungle. The NAACP is a bad gang, but I assure you that the Muslims are 10 times more dangerous, <laughs> more dangerous. The NAACP is a cream puff compared to the black Islam. <laughs> The, the NAACP likes white people so much that its members try to associate with us whites every day. But the Muslims think they are better than us whites, even though everybody knows that we, are, that we whites are superior to the nigger coons. I guess you know that the NAACP is headed by a man who is not a nigger, but there is a bad nigger at the head of the Muslim. <laughs> I have had... I've had white Christian friends write to many magazines inciting, inciting them to denounce Mohammed and his Muslims so as to scar or scare yeah. many cowed Negroes away from him. So far, I have managed to uh, sick both Times Magazine and U.S. News and World Report on them. Police Commissioner Kennedy, my dear friend, I now offer you the service of this Christian Christian Knights of the Ku Klux Klan for the purpose of maintaining white supremacy in New York City and for keeping New York niggers in their place. I think 5,000 Klanmen could clean up Harlem and Harlem for you. If you would give them police badges and New York police, uh, police uniforms to wear instead of that Klan uniform, they will leave their Klan robes at home so the New York niggers won't know that your police reinforcements are white Christian Klansmen. You can use our Christian night as God to protect every white business in Harlem and also